Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for tuning in to another video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and give the video a nice big thumbs up. Like I'm giving you now. It's pretty much exactly like that. So today we're having a look at Ark Trooper 5s. Uh, the first of many Ark Troopers I'm sure we'll see coming into the vintage collection. Uh, he was originally part of the three pack that recently came out through Disney Pulse. Um, there's a pack I haven't got. I really want it because it comes with Clone Trooper Jesse and I'm a big fan of Echo as well. So I'm really happy to have fives here. I actually really like the card art on this one. Um, looks fantastic. The figure itself looks really nice. I'm really excited to open this guy up and have a look at what they've done. Um, yeah, because the face print looks fantastic. Everything looks great. I'm really excited to add this guy to the collection. So uh, let's crack him open and have a close look. All right, now here is a cool action figure. This is Art Trooper 5's fresh out the packaging and uh, ready for a review. I'm digging this figure a lot. I'm liking what Hasbro's done with this. Uh, there are a few tweaks I'm going to make myself. Oh, one tweak. Um, and there are some things that need to be improved ever so slightly on this guy. So let's bring him in and see where he really wins. And that is this head sculpt. Um, you know, same thing with the uh, photo reel paint apps is that they're not always super accurate, but when they are, boy, do they make a figure. I just think this figure would really shine in the six inch line and I've no doubt they'll get there eventually but um, for now it's nice to have him in the three and three quarter inch line. I'm still really really hoping to get that three pack so I can have um, Echo and Jesse as well. But um, no doubt they'll probably get uh, single release cards at some stage too. Um, much like this guy. But uh, they want to sell a few of those three packs before they do that. We'll get a look at his helmet. So again, with the uh, like I was saying, with the photo reel paint apps, the digital painting, it's not always super accurate. And I've seen a lot of people's uh, helmets uh, that don't have the, uh, particularly with the visor. Um, it's not applied super well. You can sort of see the line where it should be, just going across the middle there. And you can get it in a certain light, but um, you know, for the most part, sitting on your shelf, you're not gonna notice this at all. Um, it's great, it does have the articulated range finder. Uh, that is also an easy one to pop off because uh, you know, with the with the three pack, Jesse comes with the vise, with the uh, thingy. <laughs> And uh, he doesn't actually have one, so you can quite easily pop that off. You can see it in there. But again, it's sort of a soft, soft plastic. Um, it's not bad. It's a nice sculpt. It's not going to lose its shape too much. Um, but perhaps more so on that side of the visor there, you can sort of see that that eye line has sort of dropped off and not totally accurate, not totally straight uh, to where it should be. Uh, if I was a little bit more nitpicky about this kind of thing, I'd fix it, but I don't care that much. Um, he's probably going to be displayed uh, just holding the helmet because that face face sculpt, head sculpt, is uh, is too good to leave in a, in a helmet. Um, so they're using mostly reused parts from this figure. But if I pop off his head and get a look at this piece... Uh, this piece I will be gluing down. It is quite loose and dangly and it looks a little bit funny. Um, I'm going to glue it into place. Um, but with this sculpt, they've actually added the articulation at the, at the uh, abs there, which is really great. So I'm glad they've gone back to that. The Captain Rex figure uh, didn't have that. And the Commander Wolf that recently came out didn't have that ab crunch um, either. So... I'm really, really happy that they've brought that back. I wasn't aware that they'd done that. Um, so that was a nice little surprise. We'll just pop the head back in. Uh, it's got all the other good articulation. He holds the rifle reasonably well. I find the little blaster 
If you look on his backpack, there is a slot there. So for the smaller blaster, it comes with that slots into the side there. So he's able to carry carry all his weapons at once if he's uh, using his rifle. Because he does have working holsters for his pistols. Um, but as with some of the more recent clones, uh, the pistols are too small for the fingers. Uh, they just don't quite fit in the hands. They're loose, they fall out. Um, they've made them just a little bit too flimsy. Um, so they don't really hold in the hand very well. You could probably just... I don't know, I just had a really hard time of it. <laughs> um, I will try, I actually, while I'm here, I will try and demonstrate that so, so you can see it. Um, all right, so you can see, get it to focus. Yep, see, already gone. Um, I'll try and switch it out with some older ones. Some of the older Clone Wars ones were a little bit beefier. So they may fit the hand a little better, as you can see. Yeah, see straight out. But it is nice that they can go in the holster. But again, I'm looking forward to uh, holding this bit down because it's it's a little bit over the top. So I'm going to glue that down. Um, overall, I'd like to see. I'd, I actually like this, the plastic. I'd like to see it go to soft goods, but I understand. Um, with this sort of much detail in it, that's, that is hard to do. So I'm, I'm okay with the plastic here. He has ball jointed hips as well, which is fantastic. Um, ball jointed knees and ankles. So it's got all the articulation, some soft goods would make that move a little bit better, but this is fine. I'm, I'm more than happy with the plastic given the, uh, the detail. It is quite a soft plastic, it does move a bit. So you can still get some pretty good poses with this guy. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely dying for a uh, six inch version of some ARC Troopers, mainly Fives, Echo, Jesse, um, to go alongside with the Captain Rex. That would just, oh, that'd make me so happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, the helmet does fit nicely. I don't think I've shown it like that. It might look a little big. I haven't decided yet. I think it's okay. Um, I'm not too fussy about it. I think it looks okay. It's it's a uh, it's pales in comparison to that tiny little Rex helmet. So yeah, that's so that's Arc Trooper Fives. I'm really really happy with this guy. He looks fantastic. Love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment down below, and uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very very soon. Till then, may the force be with you guys. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.